Wuthering Waves is around the corner and I'm excited to tell you guys what to expect before it gets here. I'm gonna cover a few of the banners, banner banner, probably standard banner guarantee, which hopefully we do get. Echoes, re-rolling, and some other stuff that I wanted to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about the plans I have for the game. So firstly, Wuthering Waves is going to be an action open world RPG with party systems and a mental mechanic similar to mm, a game you might know, Genshin Impact. So in your party you do have a mech character of three out of four so that is a definitely an interesting strategy there is a weird synergy system too with an energy bar you use your character skills it kind of fills up unusual there but it is part of their you know whole mechanic thing and i'm so down for that it's something new it's something unique and it looks really really awesome there will be obviously a massive open world and you can obtain rewards through chest collecting puzzle solving quest completing and even a similar oculus system to genshin for rewards called Sonnen's Casket. It's a weird name, but that's what it is. There's a weapon crafter and an item synthesizer, small mobs, big mobs, bosses, what you would normally expect from a game like this. And you can cook and collect overworld materials to create and or cook food to obtain buffs. And something you don't want to hear probably is a resin system called, I think, wave plate. I know a, no one wants an energy system that you know, holds you back and makes you play the game, you know, daily for a shorter amount of time instead of just like play the game for as long as you can. It's it's definitely an annoying thing and every gacha game has this just so they can kind of prevent you from playing more in their game just so you can have a better experience in a sense because you're trying to get characters and whatnot to me this is this is a definitely a system that you don't want in a game uh but it is what it is it is a gacha game after all anyways there are other things like account levels and character levels an echo system to boost character damage and deal different skills there will also be missions and in which case in the ever expanding you know massive world and you'll have you know the the main quest the side quest whatever and that's right a gotcha system so let's talk about the gotcha quick one of the main points of the game is collecting characters to use in battle actually this is probably the only main thing in the game now, if you're unaware, to this point, there will be a total of four banners as soon as the game comes out. One is for the standard character, one is for the standard weapon, one is for the limited character, and one is for the limited weapon. So, already, you'll have your shoes filled with water as soon as the game comes out because you wouldn't know what to do and there's so much banners available and you don't know which, where, where you should dip your toe, okay? I know I'm using some like weird analogies, but you get what I mean. Firstly, relax. Take a breather. Limited characters will have a different currency to be used on that banner. And now I'm assuming that limited premium currency could be spent on the regular standard banner. You'll be able to obtain the regular banner's currency much easier to the game. I know you can probably spend the asteroid, which is what the premium currency is called, on both banners, but I'd highly suggest that you save those. Not to mention, you will also be given free pulls on the standard banner as soon as the game releases part of the rewards for pre-registration assuming we do reach the goal of 30 million by the end of the event period you can also get copies of characters called sequence nodes so if you get the character more than one time you get a sequence node which is basically genshin's constellations or honkai star rails idol characters will also come in all different elements and some will be limited so you're going to have to grind some premium currency or pay to obtain the newer character so there are staples of the game offered in the standard banner that you can obtain over time so you definitely don't need to be rushing though speaking of rushing those you can also re-roll in the beginning of this game what is re-rolling you may ask well it is when a gacha game is newly released and you usually have free pulls that are given out to you in celebration of the debut of the game with wuthering waves it's with wuthering waves it's the same thing too so what you would do is create a new account until you get the optimal account you desire so if you want an account with the character Kilcharo, what which is the character I coincidentally want, I'm going to try to roll for, you will have to keep rolling and use the pulls that they give you for free in different accounts. So you make one account after the other until you get Kalchara, which is the character you want. So there's that. And so make an account, get to the summoning screen, get a five star, keep the account, didn't get a five star, ditch the account, make a new. Really simple. I'm pretty sure it's really easy with this game too. So there's also a chance to get a five star character and you'd go straight for the weapon in which case you'd get a weapon as well 
oh, there's definitely a dramatic change from usual gotchas because you pretty much guarantee uh, weapons also. So that is insanity. A lot of re-rolling uh, has to be done. There are premium currency, as I said, called asteroids, in which you get to choose whether to spend on limited or standard banner right this premium currency can be obtained in multiple ways it can be obtained through event through the current event that we actually have the echo one the five star echo one you can obtain them you can obtain them through puzzles through quests through through chests which is probably the main thing that you're able to get this from and obviously you're going to have the the paid ones in which you can convert those to this premium currency now you are pretty much going to be needing to save these for the limited characters. Now, let me tell you, you'd probably be like, but I can get a guaranteed five star and 50 pulls on the standard one. I should probably use it on that one. I would say don't do that. Just use your free pulls on that and get your guaranteed that way. And then save these for the limited character that you want. That is what I would recommend. There is that. And don't worry, as I said earlier, this game is going to have its debut pre-registration reward and it will be administering repulls to everyone via in-game mail. Register and you pretty much have it. So don't worry about that. So after you obtain enough pulls on the standard banner, you wish it multiple times, a total of 50 times, you guarantee a five-star character. This is only a one-time one -time offer. So if you do manage to get a five-star earlier, than 50 and that one time offer is gone afterwards your probability chance of getting a five star character is guaranteed on 80 pulls rather than that 50 so there is that you have to keep that very much in mind it is not 50 to get a five star it's 80 it is only the first 50 on the standard banner that you get a five star pretty simple stuff and i did mention this before but the weapon banner is guaranteed to get on the you know, the five star is guaranteed to be the weapon. So there's that. Now there are echoes in the game, which is something new to me at least, and work a little unusually. It's like a Pokemon collecting system. When you defeat an opponent, you, you know, capture them or whatever. And there are two to five star echo. You can get a five star echo the same way you get a five star weapon or a character. However, I don't think there will ever be a banner for this. You just collect them in the overworld. So you collect them in many shapes and sizes and they can help improve your character overall effectiveness in different ways. Whether it's attack, defense, HP, whatever it is. You can also gain specific shiny variants of echoes that make your echoes a little cooler not better just cooler i do not think they are insanely rare but for us pokemon fans this is definitely a welcome feature speaking of welcome features the shop this will work effectively like you guessed it engines shop in which you can get material every time you summon and exchange them for various items in the shop including premium and standard pulls the material you get is called corals so you exchange the corals for these pulls and you can also get different you know materials and stuff like character weapon enhancement material or something like that i'm pretty sure you can get that i'm i'm not you can exchange these corals for other materials like enhancement materials for weapons or whatever it may be within the shop there's also a crazy thing within the shop you can get guaranteed wave band that you can get in limited amounts per month you may ask what is a wave band a wave band is pretty much a guaranteed constellation also known as a super you know a superimposed in honkai star rail except instead of a weapon it's a carrot. This is an insanely, insanely welcome feature and it just seems crazy to me. It guarantees of constellations for some of these characters and I should say sequence nodes because that's what they are of these characters. It's to me that is absolutely insane. Not to mention these are probably only going to be for the standard banner characters. And I don't think you'll have an infinite amount, it'll be a finite amount. So there is that. Now that I talked about all of that stuff, I will be going over and covering characters as soon as the game comes out. And I will attempt to grind the game alongside Genshin and Honkai. So I'll keep you guys in the loop and take you guys on the journey of discovery with. It'll definitely be an exciting time, similar to the release of the Genshin Impacts, but I uh, don't think it'll be as popular. But I definitely will have some fun playing. Follow me guides on them and see where they fit into the game and see how it goes. There's definitely a lot to cover in this game. Not only does the game have weapons and characters, but they have echoes too. So there's definitely tons to cover when talking about these characters. There will also be loads of endgame content. 
there is that to look forward to but i'm not going to go in detail on those all you need to know is that it's there and that it'll be a pretty great way to test your characters that you built the gameplay genuinely looks thrilling to play as career games has done with punishing gray raven in the past so i really hope it doesn't stagnate because getting to know your boss and using the parry mechanics is so cool to me i really hope you know hope it's kind of somewhat difficult so i have something to really grind for when the game does come out i'm sure that we will have loads to do in the game and it's about to be a content push of a lifetime but i am ready for it all bring it bring on the content hopefully you guys did enjoy this though if you like this type of content, let me know in the comments as well as like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.